Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Nain. A funeral procession was coming out as he approached the village gate. A young man who had died was a widow's only son. Now, normally we just read this part of the story and we just move on to the miracle part of the story, but we can't just glance over this and brush over this and quickly go by this because, again, it's about intersections. It's about slowing down. And this encounter that Jesus has here, it's important to note that this was not by chance. This was not luck. Um, it, it, It was not by accident. Everything that Jesus did was intentional. And here's what's happening. Every single day, Our lives are intersecting with other people. Think about it. When you are in your neighborhood and you you come out of your house to get in your car and, and your life intersects with a neighbor who comes out of their house or they're out in their yard with their kids or or they're walking their dog or you're at work and you pull into the parking lot at the same time one of your coworkers pulls into the parking lot. It's an intersection with people. You walk down the hall at work and you happen to bump into somebody that's coming out of their their office as well or or you're uh, you're on your campus and you're constantly passing other students and your life is intersecting with all of these people you're at the store and you get in that that line that checkout line and your your life intersects with the cashier our life is intersecting constantly with people everywhere that we go and What if these encounters, what if these interactions, these intersections that are taking place, what if they're not by accident? What if if they are not by luck or by chance? What I believe is that God sees people in need and he divinely and he deliberately has our lives intersect with theirs. He wants our lives to come in contact with them. Think about this. Jesus is passing through this village on purpose for a purpose. 